Hey everyone, and I've played this off camera on the mobile, but then I play on PC. Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Wait a minute. I think the sound's up. Yeah, the sun should be up. Oh, enter. Oh, yeah, the sun's up. All right. Well, obviously, it designed pizza. Who want the pepperoni and sausage? There's your pizza. Those are the best pizza. <laughs> no, I like. These two pepperoni and sausage or cheese, but now I think it's about time we uh oh whoa. whoa oh yeah I remember this uh fro pizza it's stupid pizza kid. So I played this when I was a kid. What the heck is that? Huh? No, ain't no way. Fine, we'll take sticky keys. Yeah, Freddy, you're not making a good audience for the kids here. You know these kids want pizza. The main reason you're here is to entertain kids. You're not here for all pizza also. You're here for, to, for kids. Why do you even want pizza? You're an animatronic. You don't need food. What? make this crazier. What's happened? Okay, yeah, I remember this part. Oh, ho, ho. here we go. Begin tape. Leaving dead at space three, two, one. The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage mm -hmm. interactive attractions following audio stimuli. If you are playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to mm -hmm. do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph four. Okay. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. I turn that down Upon for me and the room, you guys, so you don't you get not to return. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. This is, I don't remember it being this sound. Document results. Um. Begin no. audio prompt in three, Two, one.
document results. Ain't no way. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. I remember this. Oh, and then her eyes move. Time to get on to the real day. It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A no. gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right, restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. Yeah. And that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, okay. such as atmosphere, Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus okay. revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, mm -hmm. and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever um. you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger oh, yeah. if there were something we outside something. that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help oh, yeah. we are we legally obligated to provide. It's totally not Remember, like there is you a are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. We Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible it's for disappearance. Here we go. Okay, yeah, I already know this. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive <laughs> catalogs by simply hey, purchasing oh, items for your pizzeria. pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. You don't have a liability risk, so I'm for sure they're gonna get that. And then I'm gonna get Mr. Hugs and Mr. Tandu. Stan's Budget Tech. And this one, whenever I have enough, I'm definitely gonna get the stage in there for more animatronics. Oh, okay, Mr. Hugs has a good rating. That's kind of cool. Take one. It's kind of all we have for right now. No, I'm not taking it. Spawn this. I 
guess we're just finished. Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, on to other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. I would do the loudest ones first, usually, if there are animatronics. And I would do the quietest to the quietest ones. Great job. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and okay. you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we you're all know you can be. be. Here we go. Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. yet. There is another aspect to your end-of-day routine, and that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often, and while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much-needed revenue does. boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. Yeah. You choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences. Namely, death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, 
then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back oh, alley. I see blood we are there. unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Bruh, proceed with salvage. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Bad Remember, idea. use your company as your taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. <laughs> Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin. Now we need to fix that. Audio prompt in three, two, one. <laughs> Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Big. Okay, only shock it three times before it damages it. Stop it. Again, audio prompt in three, two, one. one. Document results. You have completed the maintenance oh, checklist and may proceed with the salvage. Well done. End tape. Thanks for letting me join the party. I'll try not to disappoint. Well, upgrade. Okay, catalog. Now I have less, but get more. And the tech. Fruit maze. Uh, I feel like I like fruit maze better. Kind of like. I'll take this one because. Mr. Hippo, no like his stories, right? He has good stories ever right now. Stories of freaking Fan! Just get a freaking fan in here! I wanna see the fan. <laughs> yeah, pretty maze. Oh uh, yeah, we have a fan put on there. Screw you. We have Mr. Hippo. Fast rating. <laughs> All right.
Alright, now it's time for the real jump scares. Here we go. Molten Freddy, are you just camping, my boy? Scan. Oh, I heard it. I heard it. Mr. Molten Freddy, please go away. Kind of just sitting in this vent all day. Oh my. I hear you. Can you go away? I see you in the. I hear you in the vent. The motion detector is saying that you're in the vent. Oh my god. I keep hearing the buzzing, which means that, like, a sound's about to appear, which alerts me that. He's over here. He will not leave. Stopping from seeing you and just quitting my team. Give me the money. Well, Freddy, you're gonna owe me after this. Oh, well, and Freddy, you're gonna owe me after this. I'm gonna turn. And if you kill me, Let's see. 
He could literally be right behind me for all six. Cause he's like everywhere. Ben is slanted, if I, I just realized that. Let's look at that. Alright. Stop. What's in Freddy? This video. Is the most far is this video. It's literally just me sitting here waiting for you to get out the vent. Can you leave? Oh my god. Night one be like. Oh my god. Can you leave, Molten Freddy? You're just sitting here all day. Stop! Molten Freddy is just here all day. Can you leave? If I turn, he's gonna kill me, so I don't know what to do. All I hear is this. Leave.
for them. Go away. Someone does something better. And next night, I think I'll bring two flashlights. Friday. You gone? Just that you're gone. Take the risk. Yeah, take the risk that you're gone. And if you're not, I don't know what to say. This is like the, these are the quietest tasks, so... Watch, I'm gonna hear him. I'm gonna, and he will not move unless I turn off the light, the power. I heard that. I hear you scrambling away.
that's it. No, I no. This video's over. Cool. This video's over.